Special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared 2 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the German Henkel HE-51. The HE-51 was a German single seat biplane which was produced in a number of different versions. It was initially developed as a fighter, uh, but saw variants such as a seaplane and also a ground attack version that were also developed and deployed. Uh, it was a development of the earlier HE-49. The aircraft's first flight was in May of 1933, and it was introduced into service in 1935. Uh, the Luftwaffe basically retired it in 1939, so basically right at the kind of break of World War II, as uh, this plane definitely wasn't going to hold up to uh, World War II standards of uh, aviation. Um, however, the HE-51 really saw most of its service uh, flying in uh, the Spanish Civil War. Uh, as part of kind of like a Lend-Lease Act, the Germany sent over um, a bunch of these uh, HE-51s and uh, that's pretty much where they saw most of their kind of fighting and their kind of main, I guess, service life because uh, they were not retired from the Spanish Air Force until 1952. Um, overall, it's a very interesting plane. Uh, we haven't done a biplane in a while and uh, it's not one of those aircraft that you can really consider uh, World War I, um, but it's more of kind of an interwar early World War II design, even though I'm going to classify it as World War II since it did see service in World War II. Uh, so anyways, uh, going ahead and uh, moving on, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter The Red Deer for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out the uh, link in the description to my Patreon page where you can pledge a small amount every month and uh, donate to the channel. Helps me out personally and stuff like that. Um, so feel free to check that out if you guys are interested. Um, anyways, going ahead and taking a look at uh, the aircraft just to kind of get an idea of what we're going to be building. We have obviously the in-flight version. As with the aircraft, if it were to be landed, it would be at a, at a slight angle. So we just have it in its in-flight version here to keep it a lot simpler. Um, to basically start off with, it has a little bit of a camo scheme here. So basically a light blue nose um, and pretty much a green body for the rest of it. And this was kind of the version that the requester the Red Deer asked for, so that's the version I decided to do. Of course, you can modify it and put whatever camo scheme you want on it. Uh, this is just the one I'll be doing for the tutorial. So, starting off with, obviously, we have the front propeller up here. Uh, nothing fancy and unique about it. We got the two wings here, so the wing on top and wing on the bottom. Your very standard kind of biplane type design. On the bottom, your fixed landing gear um, as well. We then have the uh, cockpit, which is okay right here. Um, obviously, you can put some kind of little interior in here to fix this little cockpit up, uh, but it's pretty nice, pretty good space to put a little bit of uh, detail going on in there. Uh, then we have uh, just the cables running in between the uh, wings here and connecting back to the rear here. Uh, we also have the horizontal stabilizers and the vertical stabilizer on the rear here as well, along with the rudder and all that fun stuff. Um, overall, really nice design. I love the way it came out. Uh, it's a fun little aircraft. It's been a while since we've done a biplane, so uh, pretty cool and, uh, you know, good suggestion um, from the Red Deer. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, Layer 1. All right, guys, so moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with Layer 1. Now, Layer 1 is going to be the easiest layer for sure. It's super simple. Uh, we just want to go ahead and place down two narrow brick stairs back to back to each other. Leave a space of five and place down there two narrow brick stairs on the opposite side, upside down, next to each other, back to back. Just like that, again, a space of five in between these stairs. Um, and you should get something that looks just like this. This is the bottom here for the wheels and the lowest portion of the aircraft. So uh, everything that for the rest of the aircraft is going to be all upward. Um, but then again, just uh, that right there, two uh, basically narrow brick stairs here on both sides, back to back rows a space of five in between those stairs and once that's complete that is going to do a layer one with that let's move on to layer two all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer two for layer two to begin with we want to go ahead and go to our another brick up down stairs here and we're gonna be doing the same thing on both sides if you are new to my tutorials the way i like to structure these tutorials is like you're half on camera half off what this means is i'll do half the uh basically half the uh layer on uh basically the right side here and then it will be up to you guys in between the layers to copy that side over to the other side um, but whatever you, whatever you see on the one side, we're going to be doing to the other side. So pretty straightforward stuff. To go ahead and get started here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a green stank plate block. We're going to place it down on top of the narrow brick ups downstairs like that. Coming off the green stank plate block toward the front, we're going to place down a 
dark liquid up down the stair like this with a sign coming off the side of the stair. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head, place down a zombie head that's coming off this uh, dark liquid stair like that toward the front there like so. Now, uh, basically, we're going to have a row of five that's going to come off the side of the zombie head, and it should connect up with the zombie head on the other side. It's a good place right here to double check that you have the right count. Uh, but you basically should have a row of five of end rods that are going to go ahead and go across in between these two um, kind of uh, fenders here over the wheels. Uh, going ahead and going toward the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak with a stair, come off this green stankway block. Again, that's going to be the back direction this way here, and obviously our aircraft is going to be facing that this way going forward. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go and grab ourselves an iron trap door, go out to the center end rod right here. We're going to place down an iron trap door, uh, coming off of it, and note that the iron trap door is on the top portion of the block. Uh, you do not want it down here on the bottom portion, so make sure that's up on the top portion here. We're then going to place down two wooden trap doors that go back. We're going to take placeholder blocks, count back one, two, and three from this wooden trap door. And on both sides of your third block, we're going to place down a wooden trap door to both sides, and we can delete these placeholder blocks in the middle here. Last thing for us to do is to grab ourselves a iron bar, and we're going to place down an iron bar that's coming off the side of this dark oak wood um, upside down stair, which is actually going to be tweaked. So we actually want this upside down stair to face this way, move its back out toward the side, and we're going to place down a sign there on the front of the stair. Now once that's all done, that is going to pretty much do it for this layer. You should get something that kind of looks like this. Again, it's a mere copy of the one side over to the other side. And with that all done, that is going to completely do it for layer 2. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer 3. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and begin with, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the fender over here on the wheels. We're going to place down a lever that's going to be on top of this uh, dark oak with upside down stair. We're going to have it facing in toward the middle of the aircraft. When that's all done there, coming off the uh, lever, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. Like that. And coming off this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down another one that goes back like that. Now behind uh, this uh, now behind this uh, dark oak wood stair here, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, upside down, or sorry, yeah, a stone brick upside down stair. Um, that's going to be like this. That's going to come off this stair right here. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair after it. So we turn this stone brick upside down stair into a corner stair, and then we have the regular stair like that. And in the space in the middle here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab in between these stone brick corner stairs. So in the very front middle here, which will be on top of this iron trap door. And then we're going to place down a black wool block uh, right after this dark oak wood up sound stair, which is going to be in the middle here on this first iron trap door, as you can see right there. Now with that all done, uh, we can go ahead and build toward the front here. So come off this stone brick top slab in the middle. We're going to place down two more stone brick top slabs, followed by an iron trap door going toward the front. Going toward the rear here, on top of this uh, wooden trap door here, we're going to place down eight green hardened stankway block followed by one and two more after it giving you a row of three we then want to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair after this last green stankway block followed by a row of two of dark oak wood top slabs on top of these one trap doors here we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate and uh it's gonna be on both sides here we're gonna have the fence gates opened out toward the uh sides there like that and go back here uh toward this section here we're gonna go and skip a space of two Place down a dark oak wood stair with this back facing toward the main kind of fuselage here of the aircraft. A lever flicked upward on the back of the stair and a uh, zombie head coming off the front of the stair like that for the back. Um, little kind of peg here that the plane is able to rest on when it's landed. Now uh, when that's uh, complete we're going to go ahead and go back to this dark oak wood upside down stair here. Uh, from this stair we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and uh, we're going to place down two more dark oak wood uh, upside down stairs like this regularly. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down corner stair come up this last stair so you can see that looks like that. Now once that's all done, we're going to go and take iron trap doors, place down one and two. Iron trap doors going forward. Uh, with that all done, we're then going to go and take some wooden trap doors. We want to go ahead and go to this uh, dark oak wood stair here. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five. And uh, we're going to do a total of seven wooden trap doors. So six and seven wooden trap doors going out to the side. And again, note that this is on the top portion of the block, as you can see, not on the bottom portion. You want to make sure it's on the top version there. After that, we're going to go and take dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six dark oak wood top slabs. The uh, last thing for us to do for this layer is to go ahead and grab ourselves iron bars. We're going to go ahead and go up and out to the side from this iron trap door, or this iron bar here from the previous layer. So just like that, up and out at an angle. And then we want to go ahead and go basically... Uh, back and at an angle uh, from this iron bar right here. So kind of in front of this third uh, to last wooden trap door on the end there. 
and you should get stuff that looks like this on both sides once you take this side and transfer it over to the other side and so you should get something that looks just like this from up above once you have that all done that is going to do it for layer three and with that we can move on to our next layer layer four all right guys move on to our next layer we have layer number uh, four. So for layer four to start off with, we're going to place down a light blue wool block on top of this iron trap door right here. Coming off this uh, iron trap door, we're going to place down a light blue block going toward the front here, followed by a wither skeleton skull on the end. So you should have a one light blue uh, wool block stick out past this uh, iron trap door, just like that for the front there. Once that's done, going back from this light blue block, we're going to place down three more back. So we have a nice row of five. We're then going to take green stain clay, place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 green stain clay blocks back. And it should end on top of this dark oak wood stair on the back here. Coming off this last green stain clay block here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair facing toward the rear. And a dark oak wood top side coming off the front of the stair. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and start moving out to our sides now. We want to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall, come off this blue wool block to the side here. Followed by taking our light blue wool and placing down one, two, and three more blocks back from that cobblestone wall. Also on the side here, these blue, uh, light blue blocks, we're going to place down a row of three of stone buttons along the side there like that. We then want to take green hardened stain clay, place down one and two blocks back, a light blue block, a green stain clay block, and a row of four of mossy cobblestone walls running back like that along the fuselage. Out to the wings here, we want to go ahead and go to this first set of green stain clay. Uh, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four dark oak wood. Um, sorry, a dark oak wood slabs up to the side, followed by a dark oak wood stair with its back facing toward the rear of the aircraft, and a dark oak wood slab coming off the side there of the stair. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden dark oak wood fence post, a iron bar, and also some green carpet. We want to go ahead and place down a dark oak dark oak wood fence post on this dark oak wood top side behind this dark oak wood stair here and going toward the inside here and place down an iron bar right here kind of next to that um, dark oak wood fence post we're going to take green carpet and place it down on the remaining dark oak wood top slabs here and we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves wooden trap doors and place down a row of seven of wooden trap doors on top of the row of uh, seven of wooden trap doors from the previous layer uh, once that's all done, the last thing for us to do is to take in their iron bar and we're actually going to place down an iron bar that's coming off the side here, this light blue block, uh, light blue wool block right there. And once that's all complete, um, that is going to pretty much do it for uh, layer number four. With that, we can move on to layer five. All right, guys, so moving on to our uh, next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down a uh, light blue block on top of the second light blue block in the previous row down the middle here. We then want to place down one, two, and three more light blue blocks back from this one up here in the front. So you have a nice row of four here. We then want to place down a row of two of green stained clay. We then can leave a space open here for having the cockpit. So you guys can kind of mess around with that. Figure out what you want to do, but you can put a cockpit in this section right here. Um, we're then going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight green stained clay blocks back after leaving a space of two here for the cockpit. We'll end right here on top of this dark oak with top slab. And coming off uh, this uh, row of, uh, of green stain clay, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. Now, going back up to the front and working our way out to the sides, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone, or sorry, sorry my bad, a regular cobblestone wall out to the side here like this, followed by one, two, three, and four uh, light blue blocks that go back like this. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood fence gates, and uh, we want to place down dark oak wood fence gates coming off the first three uh, light blue blocks. So we're going to go ahead and place them down along the side here like this. And uh, for whatever version of Minecraft you're on, you may need to break uh, the stone buns from the previous layer to put a place or to put a block underneath these fence gates to actually place them. But you want them along the sides that are like that. After this blue wool block, we're gonna place down a green stain clay block, followed by a blue wool block on top of this one. Um, I also went ahead and included like a little banner design here, which is very simple. I just put uh, basically a strip of black uh, on both sides of the banner, and then I did a light blue uh, outline around it and also kind of cut it off and put a row of light blue across the bottom there of the banner. So a very simple little design there just kind of adds a little bit more of a insignia or logo to the side of the aircraft, but obviously you can choose and pick and choose and do what you want there, but that's basically what I did for mine. Going back from this uh, light blue block, we're gonna place down two more green stain clay blocks back, followed by two stone buns on those green stain clay blocks. We're then gonna take mossy cobblestone walls and place down a row of one, two, three, or my bad, uh, mossy cobblestone, one, two, three, and four mossy cobblestone walls back. We then want to place down a row of one and two of dark oak wood slabs, followed by a spruce wood slab. 
We're gonna go out to the side here and do the same thing again. So one and two. Uh, dark oak wood slabs followed by a spruce wood slab. When that's done, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood slab, spruce wood slab, dark oak wood slab, and spruce wood slab. So you get something that looks like this, and it's gonna be the same on both sides there. And we then wanna go and place down a iron bar that's going to be right here um, in between these dark oak wood slabs right there in the corner space. Um, going to the wings uh, to build onto these, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of this dark oak wood stair here, and also on top of this fence post right here as well. Um, once that's done, we're going to place down a uh, iron bar that's going to be on top of this dark oak wood slab here, followed by one back, and then one out to the side. We also want to go and place down an iron bar that's now right next to this dark oak wood fence post as well, so you get something kind of like this for the wings here, and you should get something that looks basically just like that. Once that's all done, that's going to do it for layer 5. With that, let's move on to layer 6. All right, guys, we're on to our next layer. We have layer number six. For layer six to start off with, we're gonna go and take iron trap doors. We're gonna place down one and two on top of the second and third light blue uh, wool block uh, from the front one up here. We then wanna place down a stone brick slab, followed by a dark oak wood slab, followed by a light gray stained glass full block. We then have this empty space right here. We're gonna place down a green stained blue block on the back here like this, followed by a dark oak wood stair. Come off the dark oak wood stair and place down two dark oak wood slabs, two wooden trap doors, a red stain clay block, a black wool block, and a red stain clay block like that for the tail piece here. On both sides of this black wool block, we're going to place down a stone button to both sides. And we also want to go and grab ourselves an iron bar. And on top of this dark oak wood slab right here, we're going to place down an iron bar on top of it. Going back up to the front, we're going to work our ways out to the side now. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post on both sides of this dark oak wood slab. Or sorry, this stone brick slab. Going back from the stone brick slab next to this dark oak wood slab to both sides, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. From off the front of the stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post, followed by a dark oak wood slab, followed by a spruce wood slab, and then another dark oak wood slab. We're then going to grab ourselves zombie heads, place down a zombie head, and then a zombie head here at a uh, 45 degree angle there to the side there. We're going to the wings now. Uh, for the wings themselves, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence post that comes off of this fence post right here at an angle. So it goes forward and up one. So you get something that kind of looks like that. And then right here we're gonna do the same thing, so forward and up one like that for the supports there for the uh, wings. And also coming off these fence posts toward the inside here, we're gonna place down a iron bar here on both sides like that. Um, kind of coming off those dark oak wood uh, fence posts. Also coming off these dark oak wood fence posts on the inside here, we're also gonna place down um, two iron, iron bars uh, coming off each of those fence posts like that on both sides. Once that's all done, uh, that'll do it for layer six. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and throw in the propeller real quick so I don't forget to do so. Um, so for the propeller, it's really simple. We're gonna go ahead and go to this blue, uh, light blue block that sticks out right here in the front. We're gonna place down a nether brick top slab that comes down an angle from it, followed by a nether brick slab. And then come off this nether brick slab, going down an angle continuously, we're gonna place down a nether brick top slab. And we can do the same thing over here. If you want, you can make the propellers a little bit smaller. Um, I felt that this looked the best proportion-wise, but you could also definitely make it only two out to the sides, but I think that this uh, right here looks good. But you can just basically see the general design we're going for. We have the full block here and just a uh, slab kind of um, staircase going up um, straight across. Anyways, once that's all done, that's going to do it for layer number six. With that, we can move on to layer seven. All right, guys, moving on to our next uh, layer, we have layer number um, seven. So for layer seven, to go ahead and begin with, we want to go ahead and place down a row of two of dark oak wood top slabs. These right here are going to be above uh, this dark oak wood slab here and this stone brick slab right there. We're going to place down dark uh, top slabs. So we're going to have a dark oak wood top slab and another one right behind it, um, like so. Um, once that's done, out to the sides, on top of these dark oak wood fence posts, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair with the back of the stair facing toward the sides here, and we're going to do a, a dark oak wood top slab in the middle space in between those stairs, so it gets something that kind of looks like this from the side there. When that's done, we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood top slabs going back from the front, followed by a spruce wood top slab, and we're going to go ahead and repeat this a total of, uh, I believe, three more times. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and place down one and two dark oak wood top slabs, a spruce wood slab, and do this two more times on the side here. Once that's done, um, we get to this point here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, upside down stair, come off this spruce wood top slab like that toward the front, 
And we're gonna do the same thing up in the front here, place down an upside down dark oak wood stair like that. And in the space in between the stairs, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood top slab. After that's done, out to the side here, we're gonna place down another kind of uh, row here of what is going to be four. So how we did before, two dark oak, dark oak wood top slabs, a spruce wood top slab, and we're gonna go ahead and repeat this a total of four times. So we have basically a line of four there. And then we're just going to place down a dark oak with top slab out to the side there like that. Now once that's all done, uh, go ahead and go back to the tail here. We're going to place down a um, iron bar that comes off this... Or sorry, my bad. We actually haven't covered that yet. My bad. Uh, we want to place down a dark oak with stair on top of this red stinkweed block. A green stinkweed block on top of the black wool block here. And a dark oak with stair on top of this red stinkweed block. And then we're just going to place down an iron bar on both sides of this green stinkweed block. Um, so that's going to kind of do it back here for the tail and the rigging for that. Next thing for us to do is to go ahead and do kind of like the cables running from the tips of the wings to right behind the pilot seat. So for this, we're going to place down an iron bar on top of this dark oak wood stair right behind the seat, followed by an iron bar out to the side. We then want to go ahead and go forward and out at an angle, we're going to place down an iron bar. Coming off this iron bar, we're going to place down an additional two iron bars, so one and two out to the side. We're going to go ahead and do the base with the same thing again, so uh, one forward and then out to the side here, we're going to place down an iron bar by one and two more after that we're gonna go ahead and again go toward the front here kind of go over at an angle place down two iron bars plank that out to the side there and you're gonna do the same thing there on both sides and you'll have a uh, nice design there for the rigging and all that stuff for the uh, aircraft with that all done that is going to do it for layer number seven with that we'll move on to our last final layer eight and we'll finish the build off Alright guys, so again, start with layer 8. Layer 8 is a very simple layer. We just want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence post that's going to be on top of this dark oak wood top slab here. On all the rest of the dark oak wood upstairs, downstairs, top slabs, everything like that, we're going to go and take green carpet and just place down green carpet on top of all of it. This is going to create a nice color, green color to the wings and completely fill it in um, all together. So we're just going to go and do this all the way around here, just like this for the wings on top. And then we just want to go and take some stone buttons and place down a row of stone buttons on top of this spruce wood top slabs all the way along the side here to give a little bit more detail to the um, the uh, flaps, elevators, and all that fun stuff right there. One thing you can also do to enhance the build is uh, actually put some uh, black wool kind of bl black carpet, sorry, kind of crosses here on the wings that kind of enhances the uh, build and really kind of reinforces that German feel to it. Um, another thing you can do is grab some banners and put some uh, banner lettering here for the squadron number and um you know the unit number and all that stuff on the side just again again give that kind of realism and everything that the aircraft could definitely use obviously i'm not going to go and do the banners because they're just plain annoying really so uh i'm going to go and just uh not do that but i'll be linking a tutorial down in the description where if you want to put banners letters and numbers and stuff you can go and use that um really good banner uh, designs and letter for all the letters and numbers that um i use for all my vehicles and stuff so uh feel free to check out the video if you're interested in doing that but basically just want to put them all on the side here um right in this area right there anyways uh that overall is going to do it for my tutorial for the hankel he 51 uh fighter biplane hope if you guys do enjoy this build it's something a little bit different we don't typically do a lot of these biplanes so it's definitely fun to uh visit some whenever we get uh, a chance to do them I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the build and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can, from, this can be anything from a side of the build to into my channel or this video if this doesn't bring any, any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I have for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Again, a special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. And check out my Patreon page. The link is down in the description. And other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.